slash the dollar symbol at State Gaming. Uh, the, all donations are going towards the Hospitality House, which is a 24-7 homeless shelter covering seven counties in the Northwest North Carolina area. Our current donation goal is $500, and we currently have $250. That is half of our goal is already met just from the, our events here at uh, <clears throat> here at App State Gaming, <laughs> um, at Game Fest. So we need your help. Every dollar counts, and every dollar goes towards helping those in need. So if you can, please donate. Please donate. Do it for the do it for the people. And let's see what we got here. We have Win versus Flame Wit. Flame Wit. Raphael versus Malcolm. And they're going to go to Smashville. Rafa seems like he's in a hurry to get this over with. And what do you think of the Villager Ryu matchup? I think it's interesting as Villager can die at like 80 from True Shuryu. But it depends on how good the. the uh, oh, and he goes speaking of how good. Oh, you can't, wow. You can't. All right, never mind. You can 13 get. 13 seconds. You can get Villager. Win down one stock. Uh, personally, I don't. I think Mario would be better for this matchup. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, oh, and he goes because they're both close-up fighters, and I think Rafa is the better player. Absolutely. So he should win neutral more times out of nothing. Um, this is probably more just a test for Braggett. Yeah. But you know, props to Malcolm. He's in the lead so far. He made a good decision, and he foot sold oh, him wow. off stage. So that wasn't the foot sold. That was a back air and stage. That's it. Wow, not even a minute in. Flamewood takes game one over wind. Honestly, I'm shocked. I was way too quick. But at the same time, Ryu was a god. Yeah, yeah. So I can definitely see he's a good he's a good Ryu. He knows what he's doing. The real problem that Mario does have in this matchup is shield breaker, shield pressure. He can't really get in too often. So he could actually be in trouble now. He switches to Sheik. And surprisingly, there's not a lot of notable Sheiks in North Carolina from what I've noticed. Um, we don't have one. Exactly. Um, and it just blows my mind because, like... And I since feel, this isn't one of his main, like, three characters, I don't think this will go too well. He has to play it perfect or else this is going to go bad. Like, that's not perfect. Yeah. You can see a win early lose bracket. That was one... Miss neutral exchange and Sheik's already has 53%. That's crazy. Oh wow. He's fine. Aggressive. Hot soon. He's back. Landing fair is actually really hard to uh, challenge. Oh, I'm really field. surprised I didn't see a shield break in there. I don't think he's thinking about it. And thank goodness he can't hear us with his headphones in. That would be very bad if he started throwing up Paul Brick. Illegal coach. Oh That's wow, it. the back hit of Tatsu, oh, but people know when does the DI god. A god of wind. Oh, he does know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He is not playing around. The thing I'm really surprised to see is like my biggest issue I have with the uh, flameless neutral is he really doesn't grab all that often. He doesn't really have to. Oh wow. Did you see he's tech. doing okay. Oh okay. wow. That was risky, but because if he missed that, he would be forced on an yeah. on-stage situation. And if he and reads a normal get-up... I'm sure you can look at this. Fair, off-stage, 32%. Because you have to remember that true up sure you can, regardless of how strong it is, it is an upbeat. I think one thing we can see coming out of is a hard uphill. Mm -hmm. Hard uphill will fill up this percent. Another thing yeah, that... There I was. Another oh, thing man. Flamer likes to pull out is he likes to bait out F-Smash and then go for true up sure you can. Because there's a surprising little to no end lag for it. Ooh. On shield. Uh, fun fact: uh, if you uh, fully charge focus attack, it goes through shield. Break shields? It goes through it. it. Doesn't even break it. It just completely ignores it and oh, power wow. shield. If I remember correctly. That's nice. Very dangerous. You have to spot dodge it in the battle of the way. This is going a little bit better than expected. All in the down tilt two point. Make like sure you can. But this is still reading. You know, this is still. This is absolutely still. Expect the, the best. Oh, and that might be it. Okay. 
Wow, that is so the good insane. Thing, the good thing about this is, uh, for playing with it at least, this is his second game. I mean, yeah. one game one. Yeah. So it's he just a little through, bit of time to get a little bit used to it. And he used that double jump. Yep. There it is. So now he knows he needs to watch out for Tatsu. Because that's the third time he's got hit on that. Yeah. But second time he's killed him. But once you get Ryu off stage, it's just like, his recovery options, if you take away your second jump, it's very limited. Pass to Tatsu. But like he can even do it low, it's sure you can go yeah. super high. Yeah. But it's also the same time depending on what stage you go on, you can easily get stage, you can easily get gimped, like you can get pineapple, like you do Tatsu, then you miss it, then you just up you right to the stage and you die. Yeah. Very true. Let's see the Chris Meadle start off, I think Rafa's gonna time board you. Yeah. Okay. That was dangerous. He did he did it five times. I wouldn't have known he was. I mean, at that point I would have known it was. Um, if he'd done it sooner, he would have broke the shield. I think out of three up tilts you can do it and it'll break shield. It's probably the most dangerous shield break move in the game. Oh, and that's it's the big fun. that's the scariest thing with that. If you use it off stage, it's very, very dangerous to try and recover. He's doing pretty good focus cancels. Oh, wow. I know it's a very hard input. And he saves his jump, is able to make it backstage without using the Tatsu. He's learning a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so he has to get this edge guard. Mm -hmm. Or not. <laughs> or just that check. Yeah. Up to. No, okay, never mind. I just think he's not doing everything he can. You know, he, he's trying, but I don't think he's necessarily doing everything he can. And I'm really surprised I didn't see an up air from Shikra to call out for uh, focus attack. I think he, what do you think the Ryu needs to be doing more? Um, honestly, just he needs to land first of all right now, just over like get stage control back, just like take a moment to breathe, not do, not trying to go for like the hard like down tilt turn for sure you can read. Cause so do you think a, he's challenging too much? I think he's trying to challenge too much, but at the same time Ryu does win a life. He's just doing that without thinking about it. He's doing it on shield. He's not even thinking about whether or not it's going to hit. One thing I would kind of like to see is uh, up tilt for sure. Mm -hmm. so that's another trick. Oh. Mm. It's just a very awkward photo track. You can never yeah. see that coming. Okay. And the surprising air dodge to fair on stage. That's one thing I see when doing a lot. Oh yeah. my god, the priority powers, on that move. Powers through with the true tree. Has invincibility on Star. This though. is where it gets scary, especially for Sheik. The whole concept of like, oh, she has so much priority, but she can't kill. Ryu just eats that up. You know, how many games have you seen where it's just like it seems like Ryu is like over like 120% and they get true, but sure you can oh, no, own the fine. stage spike, but he stayed just jump. If that, if that second one stays spike, he would have yeah. been done for. Him. He only got saved because he had his jump. Mm -hmm. And he gets back. 92% versus 12. And he go, he's starting to go for more of the collar breaker after that. Okay. Let's see. I haven't really surprised. I haven't really seen win utilize needles that much. Okay. What I see now is find what just has to win neutral maybe three or four times. Mm -hmm. Get 40 or so percent. Oh, and that's a missed input. You know he's trying to go for a sure you can he every won't, time he sees him to do it. I don't think Flame will die, you know, maybe uh, 10, uh, 15, 20 more percent. So maybe two more hits and he's done. He goes, wow. But really same can be said about win, you know. Oof. And he oh, gets the safe spike. Like, yeah. Got him. And win takes it over Flame Whip 2 1. I honestly think that Ryu was challenging too much. You saw him go for a lot of raw upbees. Very unsafe. Exactly. And it just blows my mind. You also have to consider she gets so much priority, especially like in the air, like just literally following him the entire time with Fair, especially just following him yeah. with downbeat.